Hey guys, those of you who don't know me, my name is Joel. I'm the Chisholm leader, and I'm here with my formation leader, Julianne. Uh, welcome to Weekend Assembly, and uh, today Chisholm will be hosting. Um, I'd like to start off with the acknowledgement of country. So we'd like to acknowledge the Darug people, who are the traditional custodians of this land, who have lived and cared for, this, for their country for tens of thousands of years. Uh, we also pay respect to the past, present, and future elders of the Darug nation. We extend that respect to other Aboriginal people present, and we commit ourselves to work towards reconciliation. We'd also like to acknowledge our patrician heritage, a proud tradition of faithful service on which the school has been built. I acknowledge the patrician brothers, past and present, who have served Delaney College and many communities throughout the world. Let us put ourselves in the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, we ask that you be merciful to us and provide us with your blessings. Help us to show love for others as you have shown love to us. Give us your peace, hopefulness and blessings for good health and provide us with the protection of your angels to keep us safe. Let your blessings of happiness and prosperity with, of happiness and prosperity with success dwell within our shelter on this day and in the days to come. All saints, pray for us. Pray for us. All right, hello Delaney. Not much for me today, just a couple of key events, past and future. Um, I've got a couple of students that are gonna to speak to these. So for the athletics carnival, which we had on Monday, Joel will speak about. We've got multicultural day coming up as well, which Brandon will talk to um, and Patricia Lifted Live from Julianne. I've also asked a number of our Chisholm students to talk about their reflection day experiences and upcoming experiences. So from year seven, we will see Aziz and Zach, for year eight, we will see and hear from uh, Maya and Matilda. And in year 11, for Friday's formation day, is going to be um, spoken to from Hope Cruz. Hey, so I'm here to talk about a, uh, athletics carnival. So it was a great, great day for all of us. Uh, very, very fun, very enjoyable, very memorable. Uh, last athletics carnival. I just wanted to say congratulations to the champion houses. So to the champion house for winning the carnival. Congratulations, champion. Uh, thank you, everyone who attended and participated on the day. Um, and congratulations to the following students for being age champions in their division. Uh, each student will be presented with an award at our next assembly. So under 12 boys, Tonga Tembo Sievers, Jermaine Ganado, Brandon Toke. Helena Sindaro, John Alcuri, Isabella Zindaro, Jaden Toke. Sorry if I mispronounce your names, by the way. Uh, Eftalia, Ghassan, Cindy Wong, Abdul Jalo, and Naomi Habib. Hey guys, so uh, I'm Brandon Zader. You guys know me, school captain. Anyways, as you all know, Multicultural Day is fast and approaching, and it is next Friday. The student leaders have been contacting other students to help out with food, performances, cultural dress, and the setup of the day. These are so important to the day, and we urge you to speak with your families to bring in cultural dishes that you practice a performance, whether it be a dance, a song, poetry, or anything else or that you just simply wear your cultural dress to celebrate your diversity. Multicultural Day is one of the best days on our school calendar, so get involved. And don't forget, it is also open to your friends and family from 3 p.m. onwards, so extend the, the invitation to them and experience the Delaney difference. Hi guys, so on the 24th of June, on behalf of the formation team and our school captain Naomi, our first school mini lifted will be hosted from 4 to 8 p.m. This event will include food, live entertainment and testimonies from both students and teachers. Many schools within our community will be attending and we encourage the students of years 11 and years 12 to as well. From years nine and 10, you can express interest to one of the leaders mentioned and possibly be invited, depending on numbers. 
Many Lifted will provide you with an opportunity to reflect on your faith and deepen your relationship with God, whilst providing an opportunity for socialising. Again, we encourage you to come for this experience. If you have any questions in regards to the night, please don't hesitate to approach us during recess and lunch. We look forward to seeing you all there. So like I said before, we've got a number of our Chisholm students that are going to speak to their Reflection Day experiences. So we'll start with Year 7, and I've asked Zach Quaida and Aziz Jabira to speak. We had a lot of fun learning about new, uh, we had a lot of fun in reflection, learning about new things, such as liturgy, people in difficult situations. About, uh, we also watched this educational video. It was about uh, people in boxes and their space and what they belong. And some people had tattoos and some people were the bullies and some people were bullied. Yesterday at the reflection day was so fun. We got to do a liturgy and we learned about people's differences. We got to give a award to someone that has a school motto's pride, love serving her. So from year eight, I've asked um, Maya Akush and Matilda Jenkinson to speak about their experiences. During our reflection day, we focused on prayer and we did a range of activities in which one was called If Jesus Had Spotify, where we had to choose a song that represented prayer. Our group chose the song Umbrella because the lyrics is described as when the sun shines, we shine together, meaning that if we, if we, eh, <clears throat> meaning that if you have a connection with somebody, they will always be there for you and you won't have to go through anything alone, similar to God as he will always be there for you. And last, speaking about what she's hoping to get out of her reflection day on Friday is Hope Cruise. Hey. <laughs> I'm really excited to attend the year 11 reflection day because I think it will be a really great way to connect to each other and um, connect to each other through God and especially at a closer level because it's really long awaited because we're in year 11, you know? And um, even if you aren't really friends with everybody, you'll feel as though you can relate to somebody, which is what everybody needs. And, you know, it's through God, so it's the good thing. So thank you. So now Naomi and Brandon will give their captain's address. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, first thing I want to talk about is the tokens. And uh, so these Delaney Pride, Passion and Persistence tokens are hard-earned tokens that, that are worth valuable house points. You know, all of these points can make a very big difference in the end. These are achieved by working hard in class, helping clean up the playground, various activities. Be sure to ask for these tokens and remember to hand them into your house leaders on Wednesday mornings during mentors. Get involved in these opportunities as they can really make a difference with house points. As you saw on Monday's Athletics Carnival, participation really makes a difference. Show your house pride and get involved, especially with the upcoming Multicultural Day. So uh, the second thing I'd like to talk about is also uh, two separate basketball events. So as some of you may know, this week there is a house basketball tournament that is happening. Ms. Paranachi sent out an email regarding um, the event to all of the students. Teams will include a student from each year group with four boys and girls on the team. However, if more students would like to join, this number can be increased. All participants should nominate themselves to the selected house leader to ensure their spot on the team. For Chisholm, it's Joel, Campion, Elaine, McKillop, Shaddy, and for Teen, it's Angela. These games will occur at lunchtime, today, tomorrow, and on Friday, with both courts being occupied. Good luck and may the best team win. Also, on week 10, I'm sorry, on Wednesday, week 10, we have a team, we have a basketball team of seminarians coming up to us 
the students in the game of basketball. Be aware, these aren't just any basketball players, rather just a challenge to anyone who faces them. If you're interested in playing, please see Ms. Larve or myself. All students are allowed to participate in the event. I'd also like to just excuse my voice because the um, athletes kind of hit me, the cheering. Um, as some of you may know, Steve Cristo is our Mayor of Cumberland Council. And on the 31st of May, several leaders were privileged enough to attend an event by the council where we discussed future um, occupational prospects and the initiatives which the council currently run um, in regards to sustainability, female representation, even the new Granville Stadium, which is our backyard. A mock debate was also held, which included one student from each of the schools and myself as Delaney's representative. The mayor also chose two students from the debate as winners. And luckily I was nominated as one of them alongside a girl from Grace Games High. Although this event was not open to everyone, I highly recommend you get involved and seize opportunities which are available to you, especially within your school period. Um, thank you and I'd also like to invite Mr. Bonfield to speak. Okay, well, good afternoon, Delaney College. Um, I'd first of all, I'd like to uh, wish Mr. Easton a speedy recovery. He's had a little bit of surgery to fix up some of his some skin cancers around the top of his face. It's not uh, desperate and it's not life threatening, but he's had a few cuts along the side of his face. So we wish him a speedy recovery and he'll return first thing next term. Uh, the image you've got on the screen there is, is one that we're using in the Catholic Education of Parramatta Diocese at the moment, representing 200 years of education, Catholic education in Australia, and particularly Sydney. First school was established in Parramatta. Uh, first Catholic school was established in Parramatta. 200, it's actually 201 years ago. Last year was 200 years of celebration, but because of COVID, uh, we weren't able to celebrate. That is not a picture of me in the classroom, as Miss Ortiz wanted me to say, but it is a representation of, of the, the schools that started uh, way back 200 years ago. Thank you, Mr. Simich. Okay, we're missing a couple of slides. So I'll talk to the slides that are missing from this presentation. Um, first of all, I just wanted to acknowledge the, the speakers who have spoken this afternoon. That's, as I've said, every assembly, it's tricky to stand up in front of an audience. So even if that's a virtual one. Uh, you've heard all of our speakers talk about things that are happening around the school. And I, I like what Brandon said, Get involved. That is your best opportunity to, to make both this school, but also your experience much richer. Um, I wanted to speak to Year 12 in particular. So this morning I was talking to one of your classmates. You have approximately 40 school days left. You have 40 days to secure your knowledge of your coursework. You have 40 days to uh, be prepared for exams. And you have 40 days of schooling to say goodbye and make the most of your, your uh, experiences here. As I said to one of the groups, uh, the senior students were running the 100 metres, the last event of yesterday, of Monday's carnival. This is your last race you will ever run for Delaney. So those of you 12 students in here and, and listening, uh, every many things that you do now are the last time you'll do them. So with 40 school days, plus a couple for your trials, um, it's going to rapidly close and I challenge you to step up. Now, every day now, 40 days, you should be here for 40 days of your schooling now. If you're sick, stay away. If you're not sick and just staying at home, I really challenge you to turn up and participate in your classes. This is where you know, we'll make a difference with you, particularly after your trials, to get you from here to here. That's our job with you to make sure that you're ready for your HSC. So, Please um, be engaged and be ready to go. Year 11, year 12 only had 40 school days. And why do I say that? Because in 40 school days or less, you will be looking for the next school captains and house captains. So I want you to start thinking about those students who will, you feel will represent this college and your year group uh, the most effectively. When we talk about house captain, a couple of years ago, we would have said that's the sporty person. That's the person who can get up in front of a crowd and, and you know, rouse them up for a, a war cry. House captain is broader than that now, and it is looking at the whole community as well as sporting. There's also a formation leader of each house. So year 11, you are rapidly approaching being leaders of the school. 
And as the year 12s hand over the 2021, you'll pick up the 2022. And I've got a couple of kids here saying, no, we don't want to hand over. You can come back next year, Julia, and stay. <laughs> so year 11, start thinking about your leadership team uh, and who you would select for the leadership of the college in 2022, or more particularly 2021, term four. Um, I had year 10. Uh, can I say to you, you are also starting your HSC journey next week, or in fact, in this period, because we're talking to you about the selection of subjects for year 11 and 12. This is a really important part of your journey because you start choosing your HSC subjects, whether that's for a university pathway or a trade pathway or an employment pathway. The selections you make over the next couple of weeks are really important. Uh, we set, we're trying to set you up with good pathways to have you leave school with as many opportunities as you possibly can have. So listen very carefully to the information you're given by Ms. Cook and our student le and our learning leaders um, and other visitors. You've heard Ms. Kathy Larkin speak, and she's the headmaster of, of Cath West College. There's lots of opportunities you need to listen and you need to participate. So where we ask you to attend an information evening, you need to be here. Where we ask you to come back for meetings and planning discussions around your choices, you need to participate. So keep asking questions of Ms. Cook, myself and all the learning leaders about the subjects that best suit you to set you up for success in 2023 when you, when you graduate from this place as well. A uh, couple of last things. We have an annual survey every year and this year it has started and year eight did that this morning. It's called Tell Them From Me. And it's your opportunity to give feedback to our school about how you see things running. You'll do that uh, year 11 and 12. You'll do it after this assembly. And it's an online survey. It takes about 15 minutes to complete. Can I ask that you treat that with respect and, and some careful thinking? It's important we hear what you want to say, and we, it's important that we get a, an accurate feedback from you. So as you do that survey over the next, hopefully mostly this week and some catch-ups next week, uh, please put your thinking cap on, answer it in your own right. What do you think about the questions and responses to those questions? If you don't understand a question, please ask your teacher. They'll be able to explain what those mean but it's important for us to get that information. So please, as you, as you get to that, um, participate effectively and constructively. The last thing, a couple last things, thank you for your, I'll just echo what was said. Thank you for your participation in the Athletics Carnival. What most impressed me at the end of the day after lunch was the, the level of noise you were creating as, as your war cries, both before the actual war cry process started and then during it. Um, I think half of our year 12 cohort can't speak properly at the moment. <laughs> and uh, that's a real testament to their leadership. And year 11, that's what you're leading next year. Um, and I'd like to also encourage you 11 to turn up to your reflection day on Friday, because it's part of a two year program, because we get you back as year 12 students to do and follow through on that. I'm gonna wrap up by saying multicultural day is only a couple of days away, Friday week and year 12s and many of you are working really hard. Uh, I've met with at least 10 students in the past 24 hours who are talking to me about their performances. Um, and I'm absolutely thrilled that so many students are spending time preparing performances. So we will kick off that day at half past one on Friday next week. We'll have an assembly and then we'll release you to participate around the place. Um, as others have said here, please talk to your families and bring food. Like we need food. And the purpose that multicultural was really started was for us to get a taste of other cultures. And I think that's a really lovely thing to do, be able to walk around and have some flavors of, of our international community. So food is really important part of that. Performance is the other part of that. And finally, uh, your cultural dress is a really important part of that. And I, for one, will be wearing something that represents my Australian heritage. Uh, we are all imports to this country, except our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander brothers and sisters. That's why we acknowledge the direct people here before we start these assemblies. We are all imports. And so please come ready to participate in that. 
On that note, thank you as always for your participation around the place. Um, and we'll see you in week 10 for the assembly. Thank you to McKillop, who's done a fantastic job. Chisholm. Oh, sorry, Chisholm. Chisholm. And uh, last up for the term will be Campion. So the bar keeps going higher. Thank you for facilitating this today.